Hi everybody, so in this video we're going to set up some Nick teaming and before we get started what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my virtual machine and I'm going to go credit a snapshot from the current state. So let's go pre Nick teaming and go ahead and take that virtual machine there. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, let's go ahead and exit over here. Uh, I need to go ahead and add the extra Nick card. So you know we're taking a snapshot here. We'll just go ahead and do sudo shutdown. Uh, see, shut down now because I don't want to have to wait for it. And so it stops the machine. All right. So now what we want to do is go ahead and add a network adapter. So I'm going to go in here and we see we have one network adapter. I'm going to go ahead and add device, add uh, another one. So it's not hard, not obvious at first to see that this is the next one. And it says share with my Mac, it's fine. But if we go back here, so we have two, we have one and two. So if I start up right now, I should see two network adapters come up. So let's go ahead and hit play. Just let that go. So let's log back in, and if we do an IF config, uh, we should see our oh, it's our secret password. Oh, sudo IF config minus A. Okay, now we see both of our interfaces that are sitting there. One at one forty-three, and. Uh, the other one there too. Okay, so uh, one of the first things we do is install a package called uh, if enslave apt get install uh, uh, if enslave. Uh, it looks like that's already installed. Um, so to get, make sure we go to check out our modules too and add the body in there. So we shouldn't have any more problem. Uh, so we can reference it from our. Uh, Interfaces file. So let's do sudo vi etc uh, modules. A uh, lot of modules loaded up boot time. And so what we should be getting is we definitely want um, bonding as one of those. Let's go ahead and right quit that one. And then we should be able to do. And then we should be able to do um, the next steps. Sudo I if down um, F. And so we don't have, we have an unknown body interface there. And that's fine. Actually, what it should be is uh, ENS33 is, is the one. Kill all point process socket fillback. Okay, so we have that. And then we should have 3A as well. Unknown interface. Okay. So, sudo f config minus a. Okay, three three and three eight. All right, so now we should be able to start going back to our interfaces file. So let's go ahead and do sudo vi etc network interfaces. Take a look in here. Okay, so we have ens thirty three. Let me change that to manual. And now we need to add in our other interface, so auto ENS38, and then I face uh, ENS38, I net manual. Okay, uh, and we'll need to add the bonds on here too, as well. So we'll do something like let's call it bond zero. I think that's what we called it in the last time we did this. So uh, bond master is bond zero. I want to create this later. We can call it whatever we want. Uh, and then uh, bond dash primary. Uh, and that it will be, we'll call that ENS33. And then down here, in this one will have to do the same. So uh, except for the bond primary piece. So bond uh, dash master uh, is bond 33. Oh no, bond zero. 
and then we have to create the bond itself. So auto bond zero is creating that. And we want GHCP for this. And then we want our mode to be bond six, which is the active adaptive load balancing one. So bond mode. Oh dash mode is six bond my mom is one hundred milliseconds. Um bond LACP rate that's for load balancing as well as one and then bond slaves should be oh, not selves slaves should be uh, ENS 33 and ENS uh, 38 okay so now we should be all set so let's go ahead and right quit it and we should just need to reboot the guest hopefully it'll work on the first try a reboot and we'll see how it goes okay so it looks like we've got it here uh, we've targeted to 144 so I should be able to log in this is H192.168.1.144 uh, I think we need to do um, CJ at and it's 199 and there we go we're in alright very cool so now we should be doing adaptive load balancing across these two cards so if we edit this and take one down Uh, we should see here. I have config my uh, a one of them go down right. Uh, I'm not sure if it's coming. So Okay, now let's take the other guy offline. Oh, looks like we got, yep, and this guy's halting here now. So I've, I've got nothing on there completely. It's gonna terminate the session and timeout pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and get a new session and roll in here. So if I go back in and connect my network adapter, should be able to let's take a look at that. Oh, it, yeah, it looks like it came back up automatically as soon as it came up. So if I disconnect it again, yep, yeah, starting the timeout again. Shouldn't be able to 192. Uh, 192.168.99. 144 yeah it's going to time out completely until I reconnect one of these guys so connect connect and then I should be able to do that just fine okay so now both those cards ENS 33 and 38 they are now teaming on the Ubuntu server Okay, so uh, and we can go ahead and enter here. We see that rest adapter or reset adapter uh, notification there. So this wasn't very hard. Um, it's actually pretty quick to do. It's really just in summary, we're really just adding a few things uh, onto the configurations, uh, adding in the new network card. All right. Um, let me know if you've got any questions, post comments and suggestions in the, in the uh, comment section of the video and. 
uh, you'll have a copy of the configuration uh, in the description.